This is a SMC Royal Flush ceiling fan. These were sold through Kmart, mostly from the early to mid 90s. This one here in particular is from 1994. It's in a white and polished brass finish. The blades are reversible from white to washed oak on the other side. Definitely a pretty interesting little fan here. I've always been drawn to these ever, ever since I was a kid, mainly due to their unique vent designs, how they use the more narrow builder vent designs on these 42 inch models. The 52 inch ones use more normal GE vents. <clears throat> Blade irons are stamped steel. The earlier ones from the late 80s used the pot metal cast irons. Three speeds, electrically reversible. Um, the light kit on the fan is original. The globe I'm not too sure is or not. I can't remember what kind of globe this thing had on it when I, when I got it. But I know it came with a light kit installed from the factory. Um, the model number on this thing is actually U42-L, which likely represents that the fan was optioned had a light kit on it from the factory. This is what you see on the fan now. This is what the light kit looks like on, by the way. And without further ado, we'll go ahead and see what this thing does. Start up on low. These SMCs from the 90s were pretty much your economical fan you can buy. Like I said, these are mostly sold through Kmart. Kmart even also relabeled these fans as they're under their own brands, such as Atlantic Air, Global Winds, etc. That was more toward the later 80s when they first introduced this design. And even prior to that, when they, when in the previous generation of this model. This one here I know is a legitimate SMC. It has um, SMC stamped onto the switch housing, which is facing away from the camera, so you can't see it, unfortunately, but it's there. You know, to just have to take my word for it. Take it to medium. It's got a slight bearing noise. These SMC motor bearings were never really good. They've always tend to wear out prematurely. But they're still not too bad. I've heard much worse. Got a slight motor hum to it too, as you can hear. But otherwise, pretty smooth running fan. And here's the high speed. High speed on the fan is actually pretty surprising. We're doing around 190, 180, 185-ish RPMs in that spectrum. And the fan has around a 11, 12 degree blade pitch. So it's actually a decent performer. It actually moves it quite a some bit of air. But the open rafter seal, raftered ceiling here in my basement kind of helps with that. It fills the salt on a normal drywall ceiling. The airflow probably might not be as good, but it, like I said, it's still pretty decently powerful fan for what it is. Here's a light kit on it once again. And we're going to power it off and watch it coast. Another thing I find interesting on this fan is that um, usually these U42s either had the option for stencil blades, cane blades, this one here, you know, came from, he came with plain blades and they're, you know, reversible, of course, like I said, to washed oak on the other side. I'm not sure if this was, you know, what they did toward the end of the uh, end of these production run here in the mid nineties, or this was just like a special, special version of it. Like I said, with the factory installed light, I'm not really too sure what the deal is there, but 
this is how the fan came from the factory. Wind mirror was also another relabel for these things as well. They also sold SMCU 42 designs just like this. I'm not sure if those are Kmart label or not. I don't think so. And there you go, folks. There was the 42 inch white and polished brass SMC Royal Flush ceiling fan from 1994. And I thank you for watching.